Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Vampire. And we're in a set of buildings off to the side of the Whitechapel Cemetery, guys. We went ahead and found Samuel in the last episode. We need to go ahead and let Father Whitaker know that his disciple is no more. But I'm very curious what is in this building because it looks like it leads off into this weird set of buildings that's kind of separated from both Whitechapel and the Pembroke district. So let's go ahead and explore this a little bit. If it leads to a dead end, then we'll finally uh, discreetly attend Mary's funeral. And we got a teleport point. Does that take us over to Pembroke? Yes, it does. Hideout unlocked. Oh, nice. Outstanding. Well, let's go ahead and refill on all the ammos while we're here. I cannot enter. From that side. Oh. Well, that's good to know. Drop down. Oh, hi, hunters. Whoops. Well, while we're here. While we're here. Was he just attacking mid thin air? Bless his heart. Alright, so we're gonna heal up here. And just kill him the old fashioned way. And why not? Get some blood from a rat. And that worked out pretty well for us, I'd have to say. There's probably a quest or something that's going to let us into uh, these buildings. Not right now, though. But I'm glad we went ahead and checked this. Stonebridge Cemetery. All right, so Mary's funeral is up there at the north end. I don't know how many skulls we've killed. We've killed quite a few. That's where the blood trail led. I don't hear anyone. That doesn't necessarily mean anything, though. And we've got a building. And a dead hunter. Holy symbols and oracalcum. I remember that from uh, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. If you ever face a vampire, never forget that they fear holy symbols, as long as you have the faith. A cross, a star of David, an olive branch even, can prove useful to repel these creatures from the pit. But you will not harm them for good. If you really want to hurt them, only one solution exists. Forget about wooden stakes or silver bullets and find yourself the strongest weapon against vampires, Oracalcum. Do you think that it's a coincidence that Oracalcum was common in Atlantis, according to the legend and ancient writings? Atlantis was infested with vampires, and the place is now known as the Santorini Island. I'll personally pay 10,000 pounds to the man who can provide me some real Oracalcum. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Okay, I'm not sure how effective that's going to be, but if we run into Oracalcum during this game, I'll be very surprised. Kind of the last thing I expected. Don't want to walk on any graves. But there might be loot nearby. That's an interesting tomb with a cage over it. And I hear a skull and shillings. Yeah, we're heading... Oh, I guess we had to head this direction anyway, didn't we? Because this area was closed off. And this seems like a boss fight area.
I'm also looking for anything that's glowing. Yeah, that's definitely a boss fight area. Hmm. Alright. Too bad we can't go into that building. I'm kind of curious what it's for. Man, just checking all the doors. You never know. It's actually a well-designed uh, graveyard. I wonder if it's based on a real one. I doubt it. But... Still, the way that it's done in like the levels and whatnot to accommodate the graves is a nice touch. Yes, there we go. Hello, friends. Get stand back. Wait around the corner. Wow. That was impressive. You really need to stop that. Yeah, let's... Ow! Well, I was going to go for healing. Serums. So this is just another pathway leading to the same place. Light regeneration serum and shotgun shells. And I see blood here too. Hi buddy. Hey, I can get some blood. Thank you. Rude. Now. That's more like it. There we go. Oh, you can actually break the headstones. And codeine. That doesn't really surprise me that much. Oh, those were the rats that we were seeing. Alrighty. Now, is this the mausoleum where we saved the lady? Yes, it is. Okay. I think we have... I know there's probably some other stuff here, and we'll have to look at for it another time. We've got a funeral to attend. Just wanted to make sure that all the people present were of the appropriate company. If that makes any sense. Alright, give me this boss fight. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was like, where's the kaboom? There was supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom. No hide the boss fight other places then. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Well, that looks discreet. Can't, oh, that's a big church. Is that the one connected to White? The district? Nope. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, madam. Oh, Avery. I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was about to drop the lantern in the grave. Oh, Mary. What have I done? You drained her dry, Reed. If I could only change one thing. One thing. This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? Uh-huh. I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. And it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... And it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve. And the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Hmm... I wouldn't know if Reed would be a religious man. I figured with science and everything that he saw in the war, it would be doubtful, but... You may be right. Of course. I've stared upon this world for centuries. And time has taught me to deal with guilt, if not erase it. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. So we tell a priest, hi, we're a vampire, and we fed on our sister? be an interesting uh, way to start a movie. Be kind of a cool story to tell you the truth. Okay, I can't go through there. Keep on on the hunt for shillings and all things glowy. I think we may be good though. And that one's locked too. We can't teleport back up to where we were, so there's only one way to go.
Where's our new location? Oh, we have to actually head to the church church. Well, that's good. We, we had business that way. What happened here? A strange formula. Ooh. What is it? Seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Well, maybe it's the migraine medicine. Didn't really seem to help him out much, but... I guess we will see. Now, of all the people that we need to confess our sins to, it certainly shouldn't... It certainly shouldn't be uh, Father Whitaker. Because that... I don't see that going well. Do you guys? Maybe that's exactly what we have to do, though. Ooh, we got blood trails. And vampire hunters. Shillings. Lead plate. We can make a amazing set of armor. And a new hideout. Huzzah. Cool. We do need to reload. Where is the reload box? And we got a wardrobe. Got a way out. I would figure some of these wouldn't have everything in them. Like some hideouts wouldn't have the workbench. Oh, speaking of workbench. Um, a small dose of brisk blood that can be used to create stamina serums for vampires. Analyze to view br blueprints. Where do we get this? Increase the stamina regeneration rate by 100% for 15 seconds. Hey! Treatment for headache, migraine, and neuralgia. So we got all the treatments here. Excellent. Let's uh, go ahead and look. We've got a migraine for Benjamin here. And something for Mason when we actually find him. And then we've got... Okay, so we have one headache and one migraine. There we are. Now, let's see if we can upgrade the Barker yet. Yes, we can. We've got the common trigger parts for it. And let's do... We did damage, so let's do improved velocity. Decrease the reloading time by 25%. And what about Dragon Bane? We need good handle parts. We've got plenty of lead plates, though. I don't know if maybe we should be improving our other weapons, too. But I figure that's something we can do a little bit later. And it doesn't look like we can refill our ammo here. I do want to go kill those hunters, though, at the, the gate. I don't want to leave any stone unturned. Well, maybe... box? Nope. More rats. Lots of fire pits around. I have to give the devil his due. Place is well lit, all things considered. Aluminum powder. Whitechapel Old Road. It's a neat. Kill your buddy while you're recovering. Ow. There we go. Ooh. 
Oh, thank you for that common handle part. I appreciate that. Now where to? Is this the drop-off point? Yep. Would have put us right past those hunters. But then we wouldn't have gotten their sweet, sweet XP. So it looks like this goes off into two separate paths. I kind of want to take the one less traveled. Oh, we can. Quarantine. Contagious disease. None shall enter or leave quarantine area without written permission of the local health authority. No person except an authorized employee of the health district shall alter, destroy, or remove this card. Anyone violating this regulation will be fined. Guess I'm getting fined. Blinker skull. Oh, there was another one. Hi, friend. Oh, wow, that blinker actually saved my life. Or not saved my life, really, but... Kept me from getting hit by the nasty attack. Oh, there's a lot of them. It's a gauntlet. We can do this, though. Well timed. And someone's talking. I hear them. Okay, blinkers down. Ah! Almost. Can we load? Please and thank you. Ah! There we go. Alright, that was a bit rough, but we got through it okay. Now, who was talking? Mason Swanborough. Ah, this is where he was hiding out. Okay. Well then, let's go ahead and uh, say hello. Hello, sir. Sorry to disturb you at this hour. I'm a doctor inquiring about the epidemic. May I come in? A doctor, you say? No, thank you. Mesmerize level three required. Oh. All right. I shan't insist. Goodbye for now, sir. Mystery. Just look through the windows. Migraine. Let him know, hey, I've got the cure for what ails you. Some shillings. Was there anything else up here? So this is essentially like a, a cul-de-sac kind of apartment complex. Didn't seem to go well for them. Well, we know where he is, which is good. Let's see what's over here. It's right back to where we were. Oh, okay. So we've got to pump up our Mesmerize ability in order to um, have a chat. Uh, either that or we find some other way to... And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Hi. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn. You reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old, weaker self. What do you want from me? Mm. 
Nosferatu. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Or Asmite. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. So I guess he's These kind of... immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. Yeah, something we better get used to, Reed. He was cool. He reminded me of, um... Oh, I forgot his name. He's a Spider-Man villain. Tombstone. There we go. But he has, like, black skin. And, um, in World of Darkness, Asimites, the darker their skin, the more powerful they are. So, that's two undead we have found. I wonder if he is an Ekin. He probably is, but I'm like, I'm wondering what his particular type is, you know what I mean? Looks like he might be one of the more lycanthrop-like. Or maybe he just works out. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. Nothing up here, or down here. Looking for teleport points, nope. And we do have this little alleyway before we head back into Whitechapel proper. Oh, we can't disappear again. All right. Fine. Ow, 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 ow. I love how you can jump like that. That's impressive. I'm sorry, ma'am. Take your shillings, though. Waste not, want not. And one of the beasties are over here. So it looks like they get along, or they at least ignore each other. Oh, this is going to be close quarters, too. That'd be a perfect time to use that. And what's over here? Just a rogue? And a Prywin gunner. So there was a beast over here, like, feeding, and you didn't care. Good, good job there, recruit. Three, two, one. Lots of nonsense. We've got at least three. Get our stand back. Ow. Avoided the run. I think this is guy's our biggest threat. There we go. Where'd you go? Ooh, he's nullified. Or to, uh, gunfire. Wool scarf. 
beautiful and warm woolen scarf with a traditional Romanian pattern. What was that to? Maybe a mission that we haven't uh, started yet? Well, it's definitely going to save time. No teleportation points. But this is going to take us back into Whitechapel proper, so... I'll tell you what, guys, this seems like a good place to go ahead and end the episode, and we will pick it up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.